Welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed working on the Veranda B's main floor. I'm going to show you what I think we should be doing. Here's the existing plan, and as you remember, Matthew said that we had to think about the laundry, the location of the kitchen, and he also wanted to make sure that we still had three rooms, a dining room, a living room, and then others, another kind of principal living space. It could be a family room, it could be a study, it could be a television room. It leaves it up to us and to try to rework that entry a little bit. So we started out with things pretty much as it is, it seemed to me that there were two locations, potential locations for the kitchen. One was to have it there, and the other was to have it here. I thought that it would probably be best to have it over on this side rather than up here at the front in order to maintain that uh, front window condition because we wanted to have two living conditions, two living spaces, and I think one of them needs to go there and one of them needs to go at the back. So let me just clean off all those circles. And, uh, and we can get started. I think that this space right over here by the stair is a perfect place for the laundry just to tuck that in and get that over like that so that we can have our laundry space, laundry space kind of like that. And then we've got this alcove here which I think works particularly well as our kitchen. We can have it come across there and we can have a freestanding island. If we've got a little bit of extra money we can open up a window over on this side and a little bit more light in over over there. Now we need to look at the rest of the space. I think that we, if, if we're going to have um, this second space, I think rather than a formal living room, probably something that was either a study or a television room, some kind of away room would be nice. And that needs to be about 10 by 11, I think. So if we just think about that in terms of overall space, it's probably about that big over in that side. So we're going to have to readjust that window just just a little bit, but I think then what we're going to try to do is get our closet in there, our bathroom over over here, just slip that over just a little bit so that we can get into that room from here, into the bathroom there. Then I'm going to add a fireplace. You're going to see this in a couple of minutes. Right there is a focal point for both rooms, a see-through fireplace that lets us get the, the uh, dining table over here, and then we can have our living room furniture over on this side. Let me just show you what that looks like uh, at the when I've got everything completed and you can see that we've now got I think a really good entry space with an easily accessible closet. The powder room is in a, uh, a, a good location. We can come into this uh, this small secondary living space that looks out through to the veranda as well as the window is centered on the uh, the fireplace which takes us to the dining room and focuses the, uh, the dining room table on, on that fireplace. I've also inserted this extra wall here just so that we get a bit of separation from, the, uh, from that laundry door and it gives us an, an alternate or secondary focus for that dining room table. You can imagine we put a great piece of art there. Perhaps that's where uh, another piece of furniture goes. We've got our kitchen with a work triangle that looks like that uh, as well as some some seating on the island, and then we've got a compact and really usable space for um, for family room that looks out onto the deck. That's what I think we should be doing. As always, interested in your solutions, and on Friday we'll have an evaluation of all the plans that are submitted. Thanks for watching.